Hey, this is Dave from My Tech Man Cave, and today I'm going to show you how to truly stream video from a website uh, without uh, right on your Google TV uh, without actually being rooted. Um, this is sort of like a, a semi root that I did that I had done uh, following the video that Brian Henry from The Unlocker uh, has on his uh, username. Uh, YouTube username Mobile Unlimited. Uh, he he has a video called uh, How to Sideload Apps uh, a, uh, APKs on to your Google uh, TV. And uh, basically, what he shows you in the video is that you install Dropbox and then you use Dropbox to sign onto a, uh, a hacker site. Uh, I think it's Google TV Hacker. Um, they have an account uh, that you could sign on to, and then once you sign on to it. Uh, you basically can open up Dropbox uh, and they have a whole bunch of APKs and uh, apps that you can uh, pretty much load onto your uh, Google TV. Uh, but for this video, I'm pretty much going to show you how to use the Maxthon um, browser to uh, um, actually stream video right in the browser instead of actually downloading uh, a file onto your hard drive on your Google TV uh, and then having to erase it every time or wait for it to load so basically uh, I choose a website like iStreamNet.net and um, you know the uh, you set it so that it thinks it's an Android device and the difference between this and Chrome is that when you click on the actual link to a TV show instead of loading the mp4 onto your uh, uh, Google TV and then playing it through the media browser uh, the, the Google TV media browser you just pretty much hit the the link um, and uh, 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 Chrome would make you download it and you get an error message but you just hit wait and then basically it's gonna load the video um, directly and you direct stream it and uh, iStream.net uh, doesn't actually let you uh, stream uh, to Google TV or even the desktop but this is the workaround and uh, there's two things you're gonna need from that Dropbox once you learn how to watch that video and learn how to do it is uh, basically you're gonna need um, orientation switch uh, orientation control uh, that's a an app uh, that you can download in Boxy and I'll show you how to get that you just click on the here and then once you get into Dropbox you type in O R I E N T A T I O N and you hit enter and orientation control comes up you can download any one of these I recommend the least amount of days like six days ago instead of two weeks ago so once you hit that uh, you are pretty much uh, gonna uh, it's a different screen I already have it so that's why I get this screen that says it's gonna replace it but pretty much you just hit install and then it installs um, and then the second thing you'll need is the uh, the MX uh, Maxton browser. Um, if you just type in browser and hit enter on your Google TV remote, down at the bottom here you see MX Browser t uh, TV dot APK, and you install that and then the reason uh, you need this browser is because if you use Google browser and you change the UI to Android it's still gonna make you download the video so I'll show you that what happens usually if you keep it on the default see I have it on I have it on the Android um, I have it on the Android uh, custom uh, UI uh, um, UA, excuse me, user agent, and when you click it, uh, in, it, instead of instead of streaming it directly, it's going to download it. See here, it says download it, start it. You don't want that because when when you go into file management, you or go into notifications, you'll see that you have to download the whole video before you can watch it, and uh, that's fine and dandy for some people, but I like to browse my stuff, so that's the workaround. So use this MX uh, Maxton browser and install the orientation control and that's all you need and pretty much you can go on to other websites and download 
as uh, long as there's a link to a video that's on a server somewhere, you'll be able to stream it down.